All right, I'm going to be going through some chlorine dose, demand, and residual problems. Uh, preface again, I claim no ownership to any of the questions or materials presented in this video as everything is sourced off the open internet. In the following slides, I have to the best of my knowledge answered the problems correctly and using the proper formulas. Uh, this is a study guide for me. I find it helps me putting it down this PowerPoint, going over it. If it helps you too, that's great. All right, so this is the formula sheet that is given to you by the state of Florida when you take an exam here. Uh, I don't know if other states do the same. If they do, I recommend that you get familiar with your formula sheets before you take a test so that when you are, you're not scrambling looking for the formulas while you're taking the test. We're going to be doing disinfection, uh, which is on this sheet, and I'll have it at the bottom of the following slides. Question number one. If the chlorine residual is 0.8 milligrams per liter and the chlorine demand is 2.8 milligrams per liter, what is the chlorine dose? All right, so first we're going to find our known and our unknowns. So what is known is the residual of 0.8 milligrams per liter and the demand of 2.8 milligrams per liter. The unknown is the dose. And I put down here in the bottom corner the formulas that you'll be using to solve for chlorine dosage, demand, and residual problems. So because the unknown is dose, Chlorine dosage is equal to chlorine demand plus chlorine residual in milligrams per liter. So if you plug in your residual of 2.8 milligrams per liter plus 0.8 milligrams per liter, you get a dosage of 3.6 milligrams per liter. Question two. If the chlorine dose is 3.95 milligrams per liter and the chlorine demand is 2.43 milligrams per liter, what is the chlorine residual? First, we're going to find our known and unknowns. So the dose is 3.95 milligrams per liter. The demand is 2.43 milligrams per liter. And your unknown is the residual. So you're going to select the formula for finding residual. And find the residual, chlorine dosage minus the chlorine demand. Plug your dose of 3.95 milligrams per liter in. You subtract the demand of 2.43 milligrams per liter. And that's going to give you your residual. So the chlorine you put in, the chlorine that got used, that's what you have left for your residual. The residual is going to be 1.52 milligrams per liter. Question number three. If the chlorine residual is 1.72 milligrams per liter and the chlorine demand is 1.30 milligrams per liter, what is the chlorine dose? So finding your knowns and unknowns. Your residual was 1.72, your demand is 1.3, your unknown is the dose. So again, you'll use the formula for dose, which is chlorine demand plus chlorine residual will give you your dose. And plug those numbers in, 1.30 milligrams per liter plus 1.72 milligrams per liter. It's going to give you your dose of 3.02 milligrams per liter. Question number four, if the chlorine dose is 4.65 milligrams per liter and the chlorine residual is 1.83 milligrams per liter, what is the chlorine demand? Like I said, all these questions are examples of what is being used up during breakpoint chlorination. And so you put in the 4.65 and you're left with 1.83, so everything in between was before you reach breakpoint. Your knowns and your unknowns. Uh, the dose is 4.65 milligrams per liter 
and the leftover residual was 1.83 milligrams per liter. And we are looking for the demand. Demand formula is chlorine dosage minus chlorine residual. So plug in your numbers, 4.65 milligrams per liter in your dose. Take your residual away, minus 1.83. That tells you that your chlorine demand was 2.82 milligrams per liter. Question number five. A water is tested and found to have a chlorine demand of 1.5 milligrams per liter. If the desired chlorine residual is 0 0.6 milligrams per liter, what is the desired chlorine dose in milligrams per liter? Get your known and your unknowns. You know the demand is 1.5 milligrams per liter. The residual is 0 0.6 milligrams per liter, what you want left over. We don't know the dose. Put the dosage formula up there. Chlorine demand plus chlorine residual will give you the dose you want. Plug your numbers in. 1.5 milligrams per liter plus 0 0.6 milligrams per liter. That's going to leave you with a dosage of 2.1 milligrams per liter. Question number six. The chlorine dosage for a water is 1.8 milligrams per liter. If the chlorine residual after 30 minutes contact time is found to be 0 0.4 milligrams per liter, what is the chlorine demand in milligrams per liter? So what you know is you dosed it at 1.8 milligrams per liter, and then after 30 minutes, you were left with a residual of 0 0.4 milligrams per liter. So what is the demand? Formula for demand, chlorine dosage minus chlorine residual. Plug in your dosage of 1.8 milligrams per liter minus 0 0.4 milligrams per liter. You get your demand of 1.4 milligrams per liter. So after 30 minutes of contact time, 1.4 milligrams per liter of chlorine were destroyed, leaving you with 0.4 milligrams per liter as a residual. Question number seven. If the chlorine dosage for a water is 1.2 milligrams per liter and the demand is known to be 0 0.8 milligrams per liter, what is the residual amount in the water? Your known and unknowns, you know your dose was 1.2 milligrams per liter, and you know your demand was 0 0.8 milligrams per liter. You're looking for the residual. Residual formula, chlorine dosage minus chlorine demand. So you put in your dosage of 1.2 milligrams per liter, subtract the demand of 0.8 milligrams per liter. That is going to leave you with a chlorine residual of 0.4 milligrams per liter. Question number eight. You must maintain a 0.5 milligrams per liter chlorine residual in the finished water with a chlorine demand of 1.5 milligrams per liter. What should the chlorine dose be? So what you know is the residual you want to maintain it's 0.5 milligrams per liter, and the demand of the water is 1.5 milligrams per liter. What you're trying to find out is what to dose the water with. Dosage formula, chlorine demand plus chlorine residual equals your dose. Plug your numbers in, 1.5 milligram per liter demand with a residual of 0.5 milligrams per liter. And your dosage will end up being 2.0 milligrams per liter. Question number nine. The water in the distribution system is tested and found to have a chlorine demand of 4.8 milligrams per liter. If the desired chlorine residual is 0.9 milligrams per liter, what is the desired chlorine dose? 
So what you know is your demand is 4.8 milligrams per liter. You would like a residual of 0.9 milligrams per liter. And we're trying to find the dose. Dosage formula, chlorine demand plus chlorine residual equals your dosage. Plug in 4.8 milligrams per liter demand plus 0 0.9 milligrams per liter residual is what you want. You're going to be left with a dosage of 5.7 milligrams per liter. Question number 10. The chlorine dose for a secondary effluent is 8.4 milligrams per liter. If the chlorine residual after a 30 minute contact time is found to be 0 0.8 milligrams per liter, what is the chlorine demand? So we have your knowns and your unknowns. The dose is 8.4 milligrams per liter and the residual is 0.8 milligrams per liter. So we want to know what the demand on chlorine was. For demand, Formula is chlorine dosage minus chlorine residual. That gives you the demand. Plug your numbers in, 8.4 milligrams per liter minus 0 0.8 milligrams per liter. And that's gonna show that your chlorine demand was 7.6 milligrams per liter. Question 11. The water in the distribution system is tested and found to have a chlorine demand of 4.9 milligrams per liter. If the desired residual is 0.8 milligrams per liter, what is the desired chlorine dosage? So what you know is the demand, it's going to eat up 4.9 milligrams per liter, and what you want left over is 0.8 milligrams per liter. What you don't know is the dose. Solve for dose. Chlorine demand plus chlorine residual will equal your dose. Plug in your numbers. 4.9 plus 0 0.8. And that's going to leave you with a chlorine dosage of 5.7 milligrams per liter. Question number 12. The chlorine dosage for a secondary effluent is 8.8 .8 milligrams per liter. If the chlorine residual after 30 minutes of contact time is found to be 0 0.9 milligrams per liter, what is the chlorine demand in milligrams per liter? So what you know is your dose of 8.8 .8 milligrams per liter. After 30 minutes of contact time, your leftover residual was 0.9 milligrams per liter. So we're gonna solve for the chlorine demand. Chlorine demand formula, chlorine dosage minus the chlorine residual gives you what your chlorine demand was. Plug numbers in, 8.8 .8 milligrams per liter of dose minus 0.9 milligrams per liter of residual left over. That will give you a chlorine demand of 7.9 milligrams per liter. Question 13, the chlorine demand of a secondary effluent is 7.9 milligrams per liter. If the chlorine residual of 0 0.6 milligrams per liter is desired, what is the desired chlorine dosage in milligrams per liter? All right, so what you know is your demand, what you know is the residual you want left over, what you're looking for is the dose to achieve that. Again, dosage, chlorine demand plus chlorine residual will give you your dose needed to achieve these things. Plug in your numbers, 7.9 milligram per liter demand plus the desired residual of 0.6 milligrams per liter. Add them together. You get a chlorine dose of 8.5 milligrams per liter Question 14. The chlorinator is set to dose 6.35 milligrams per liter. If the chlorine residual leaving the plant is 3.86 milligrams per liter, what is the chlorine demand? So what you know is the dose, 
6.35 milligrams per liter and the residual leaving the plant of 3.86 milligrams per liter. What you're trying to figure out is the chlorine demand. Use the chlorine demand formula, which is chlorine dosage minus chlorine residual. That gives you the demand. Plug in your numbers, a dose of 6.35 milligrams per liter minus 3.86 milligram per liter residual. That shows that you had a demand of 2.49 milligrams per liter. All right, so that was just a quick 14 questions on dose demand residual formulas. It's pretty easy and straightforward. Like I said, this has helped me. Hopefully it can help you. Thanks.